One of the changes that Facebook is rolling out now since the iOS 14 changes have come out is that you need to verify your domain so that you can track properly all your events have happening with your pixel. So I'm gonna show you guys today how to verify your Shopify domain inside your business manager. So let's go into it now. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log into our business manager and then we're gonna to wanna to head on over to business settings. Now this might look a little bit different for some of y'all since you might have the updated version. This is still a little bit one of the older versions. So it uh, could look a little bit different, but nonetheless, you want to go to business.facebook.com forward slash settings and it'll take you to your business manager settings. After that, you're going to want to go over here to where it says brand safety. Click on domains. All right. Now we want to add a domain to our business manager so we can get the code that we need uh, to be able to verify this inside your Shopify store. So you're going to type in here your Shopify domain and not the, the one that's my.shopify.com but your store uh, domain. So type in your store name, hit add, and then you're gonna get something like this. It's gonna give you three different options in order for you to uh, take some of this code and verify your domain three different ways. But I'm gonna show you the way that I do it. Um, for me, it's the easiest way to do it um, inside, inside Shopify. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this meta tag verification. So click here and this uh, code right here is what you need. So you just click copy and it's already copied to the clipboard. All right, so once you log into your Shopify store, you're gonna click over here on the left vertical menu where it says online store. Scroll down to where it says themes. So once you click on that, what we wanna do is we wanna hit actions, edit code. Now when this options uh, appear right here, what you're looking for is the layout folder. So yours might look a little bit different. Let me show you. So it might all be closed out like this. So you want to click on layout and you want to look for theme liquid. And then you want to head over, uh, just scroll down a little bit to where it says at the very top, you're going to find here where it says head. Okay. With these uh, brackets and then the word head right under that is where you can um, paste your code. And then we're going to click um, save. So you could see right here, I put the code that is appearing over here on my business manager. Now this one's a little bit different, but same thing. So once you put, once you paste this code in here, you're gonna click the button right here that says save. All right, and that's it, you're done. Now the next thing you need to do is go back to your business manager, hit the verify button, and you're gonna see this turn to green. Right now it says not verified as this is an example store. Don't wanna show you my domain, but this will turn to green and then you're good to go. If this video was helpful to you, let me know in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe as I'll be coming out with more videos just like this one to help you navigate all of the changes coming out with iOS 14, forcing Facebook, TikTok, and everyone else to come up with new ways and adapt to this new marketing world. See you next time.